everybody, this is Fred with Wentworth CCTV, and today we will be covering firmware upgrading your HikVision NVR or DVR. The firmware upgrade process is very important to ensure that your uh, recording device is up to date um, and secure, um, and also operating um, using the newest encoding platform. Uh, in other words, you want your phone app. Um, to match uh, the firmware in your recorder. Um, so to do so, we're just going to log into our device using a web browser. Um, once we log in, um, we can make sure we are connected. Um, yep, we have a camera there. We're going to go to the configuration tab. And once we are there, we want to go to system and maintenance. Okay, so in the maintenance tab, we are going to have a option for firmware upgrade. And in order to do a firmware upgrade, we need to go to Heek Vision's website and get the latest firmware version. And to do that, we need the model number um, of our recorder. Okay, so if we go to system, It is going to, so we're under system settings and system, it is going to give us our model number. This is a DS7616N1Q2P16, so it's a PoE NVR. We're going to just copy that and we're going to go to HitVision's website. When we get to HecVision's website, we're going, to, we're going to go to Support and Resources, Downloads, Firmware, and Video Recorder. Once we're in here, we are going to scroll down to our search bar, and we can paste in the model number that we just cut and pasted. That will do a search in Heat Vision's database. And found our recorder right here. 7616N1Q2P16. Um, it will give you the latest firmware. Okay, this is version 4.3. So we're gonna head, click that, Hit agree. Can save the file. So this Digicap DAV DAV file is what we are interested in. This is the firmware upgrade. So what I would do is take this, click on it, and drag it to the desktop to make it easily accessible. Um, because we're going to have to log into that NVR, go to the maintenance tab, and browse to find this file to upload it to the recorder and we'll do that now all right now that the file has downloaded we will have to go in to configuration and maintenance again down at the bottom is the upgrade section and we will browse as we stated and we will find the digicap.dav file um, if you've done a couple of these, you want to make sure the time and date matches the time of your download. It's very important to get the right file for this. As you can see, when you click on it, we browsed, we found it, and then we've inserted it. Um, all you need to do now is hit this upgrade button, and it will upgrade your NVR DVR to the latest firmware.
As you can see, it will tell you what percentage of the download is done. It's operating 7%, 10%. Um, and you want to follow this through to make sure it goes, you know, to 100% complete. You don't want to disconnect or get impatient during this process. You may have a older version of the firmware, um, and it's going to take a couple minutes to download. Um, so we'll let it do, do its thing, and once it's complete, um, the NVR will reboot. Um, we will re-log into the NVR. Um, and ensure the firmware matches the firmware um, from the upgrade. So we're at 70% now, and we are rebooting. So we will go ahead and log back into the NVR. Okay, we are now back at our login following the firmware upgrade. The recorder has rebooted. And we are going to log in. Once we log in, we're going to go to the configuration tab. And under system settings, um, where it should go to automatically, um, we see our firmware version is now the 4.3 um, that we installed. So it took the firmware upgrade. Um, our recorder now has the latest and greatest security settings, um, as well as operationally, it's got the latest platform. So it's gonna work well um, with the current phone app that's in the app store for Hikvision, um, as well as the current IVMS version. Lots of times people will have conflict um, they'll have an old recorder that may be a couple years old. They've never done a firmware upgrade, um, and it won't work with IVMS. Um, that's the reason why. They haven't upgraded the operating system in the recorder. It's just like your computer at home. You need to update it. Um, you need to reboot it. You need to take care of it. So that concludes our video on firmware upgrading um, for the Hikvision series NVRs and DVRs. As always, please subscribe to our page, like our videos. If you are a subscriber, you will be notified um, from when we're CCTV whenever a recorder, um, whether it be NVR or DVR, has a firmware upgrade ready from Hikvision. Um, so make sure you do that, and we look forward to talking to you in our next video.